How the heck are you, everybody? I am Fastidious. Welcome to my channel, and welcome to a new kind of video. This is going to be called War Basics. So this is going to be where I show something in Watcher of Realms that may be very obvious to some of you guys, but it's something I get asked questions about a lot, where I'm just going to show off a feature or a function in the game that you may not know about or don't know how to use properly or you hear people talking about and it doesn't make sense. Obviously, videos like this are not going to be for everybody. This video here specifically is about gear plans, how to set them, how to use them, and how to really take advantage of this amazing feature and strengthen your account. If you already know how to do that, you can just skip over this video. If you wanna like it and maybe subscribe to the channel on your way out, that would be fantastic. However, here we are on my friend Gary's account. I just finished over the past couple days a full takeover for Gary. So we did Gear Raid 1, Gear Raid 2, Gear Raid 3, and Guild Boss 1, Drake's Chasm. So what did that look like after the fact? Well, I leveled up a bunch of gear for him, and then I set those gear plans to the corresponding heroes with a corresponding title for each piece of content. So if we go through, you'll actually see, we have a two here. Let me make myself teeny, teeny, tiny. So you'll see, we have twos over here. These are all the builds from Gear Raid 2. Then we've got threes. These are the builds from Gear Raid 3. Then we've got ones. These are builds from Gear Raid 1. This is just how I chose to name them. And now we have some kind of shared builds. So this build worked on Nyx in Gear Raid 3 and Demi in Gear Raid 1. You see it goes on and on. Here's like the star build right now that we're gonna demonstrate. We've got this Dahlia for Gear Raid 1, Virna for Gear Raid 2, Silas for Gear Raid 3 build. So let's take a few steps back. How did I save all of these different gear plans? How did I save all these builds? And then we'll get into how do you then equip them to properly use them, advantageously use them. So let's do it. So let's say, let's just make up a random thing right now. Let's quick unequip, quick equip on Vargas. Let's say I love this Vargas build and I wanna save it. How do I get to that gear plan menu? If you look right over here, right there, underneath me to the left, you'll see this quick change button. You click quick change, and the first option is to swap. So what is swap? This is the beautiful Vargas quick equip build that we love so much, right? Let's say I wanted to swap it with uh, Jira. I click this, you can see the character who it is on the left. Click it, if I press okay, now he's wearing that gear and Jira is wearing the, the Vargas gear. Let's switch it back because I want Jira to stay in that gear, at least for now. Let's say, so that's how you swap it. This is the default that comes out of pressing the quick change button. How do we get to gear plans? Quite simple, right above my head, right there. I can even touch it, look at that. We can click gear plan and now you can save a plan. So it's as simple as that. This is it. If you haven't ever saved that exact plan before, you'll get the save plan button. If you don't see the save plan button, that is because, let me demonstrate very quickly. Let's go to Volca. You can see she's already wearing a specific build. Uh, you don't, you can't save a build you've already saved before. So I can, there's no save button. However, she's already equipped with what I've titled the Volca Guild Boss build. All right. So if you ever don't see that button, just scroll down, and it means you're already wearing a pre-saved set. Let's go find Vargas again right now. Let's speed up through this video. I don't want this to be very long at all. Let's go to Vargas here. You'll see we want to save this. So I click the quick change button. Now I click the plan button right there, and now we're going to save the plan. So we can just save this as best Vargas. Maybe that'd be something, right? So there you go. What if you want to rename it? Well, here's the little quill and the paper. We actually, this isn't the best Vargas, but this is specifically the Vargas build I use, let's say for Gear Raid 3. I could call it Gear Raid 3 Vargas. Will that be too many letters? Let's find out. There's a character limit of 16. So then that's why you see me doing just the three and the two Veer instead of Gear Raid 2 Virna. Maybe I'll do three Vargas, right? There you go. Let's say this build could be shared between Vargas for Gear Raid 3 or Abizu for Gear Raid 1, all right? So we could call it 3 Varg, you have 16 characters worth, right? Spaces count as a character, and it could be called 1 Abiz. That should probably work. There you go. Let's say you want to delete this build because this build is utter trash, and it's a weird quick equip thing. Just delete it. There you go. Final thing you could do, let's say you wanted this Vargas build this new Vargas build to actually be the Volca GB build, right? You go to save plan and instead of saving it as a new plan here and giving it a new name, I could just click this overwrite button and then all this Volca GB set gear would be replaced with what Vargas is currently wearing. All right, I think we know how to get there now, right? Quick change, plan, do your thing. We know how to name stuff. We know why we name things a certain way or at least why I do. We know how to overwrite, we know how to delete. What's the final use? How do we equip it? And once you've made all those gears like I did for Gary over here, once you have all these names, how do you actually 
go and apply this effectively. So let's say Gary here, I beat stage 221. We beat like from 18 through 21 for him. Let's say he's done a bunch of quick equipping now. So you'll see like Jira is wearing gear. I haven't been on his account for, for I think two days, three days. However, this is not the Jira Gear Aid 2 build that I made. You can see actually, we can see who these pieces are currently on. So she's not wearing the same weapon. Uh, the breastplate is actually on Reeve. The uh, bangle is on Brokeer. Everything's everywhere. Wow. Edith is on, the amulet's on Edith, and the ring is on um, Estrid. So it's very possible, right? His quick equips could hold the run. However, very often they do not because, you know, timings are tight, you know, thresholds are tight. You want to make sure you're wearing exactly the right gear so you can immediately go and auto and get the, the beautiful clean run that you want especially if you pay someone to do a takeover. You'd want to be able to just do that, but this can also be immediately applied within your own playing. I do it on my own account, right? I need to know what is my Semra builds that go where. I need to know what's the Gear Aid 3 stuff. Well, that not really that anymore, but you know, Semra or maybe Gear Aid 5, or AKA, AKA Gear Dungeon 2, or certainly like my typical Guild Boss 1, my Drake stuff. So I've saved all that, that kind of stuff. Or maybe highest BP affiliation build for Setrim. That's something I've saved. You can make a lot of uses with this, but let's use this Gear Aid 221 example. So how would you actually make use? So what Gary can do, and I hope he does when he goes to farm Gear Aid 2 to make sure it runs smoothly, just click, hold click, like the heavy press, then you'll get into the screen, you go to gear. You can see Brokeer is wearing gear, but this is not the Brokeer gear I made. So you can see he's wearing two of the same pieces, the weapon and the breastplate, but the other three are wrong. You simply click that button, confirm to a quick, and confirm to equip, and now you'll see that Gear Aid 2 build for Brokeer is equipped. So we'll go to Jira, we'll go there, boom. There's Jira, you know what, it's going so fast, let's just do it all together. Here's Narvi, gear, quick change, plan. Let's look for Narvi. Sometimes you don't even need to save all the builds. So if this was like my, my account, for example, a lot of these builds won't even be saved because I know, because I did it myself, any build basically on Narvi will work once I have her set up. But I did a Mana Spring set to make sure she got the ults off properly for him. So this will provide perfect consistency if it's not something you're perfectly comfortable with. Let's go to Vortex. It looks like we actually had an example of a hero wearing his stuff. Let's find him here. Let's double check that. Yes, there's no button, so we can't we can't uh, save anything because he's already wearing a save set. And look, to Vortex, it is equipped. On to the next, working our way right down the line. Uh, let's do Decimus. I'm almost certain I had no gear on him. You don't need any gear on him. I can even quick unequip him. It doesn't matter. He's a good example of a hero like that. Volca would be the same. There's no way I saved a Volca 2 build. Uh, unless I was getting really into it. No, of course not. So Volca, I can even just to show you, I'll quick unequip. Now we'll go to Demi. She had nothing. She was just there as a Lord. Uh, if, you, if you ever, like, if I do a taker for you and you're wondering why something isn't saved, it's because that hero did not need gear. Demi was, I think, only apply, uh, deployed at the end just to apply slows to help Virna. She literally was wearing nothing. So now Virna, we go plan. Here's a complicated one. Guys, I know it might seem I'm getting like I'm getting pedantic here. However, I want to be very thorough for people that actually need this help. I realize this is not going to be a video for everybody. Here we go. One Dahlia, two Virna, three Silas. We're doing gear aid two for Virna. Let's equip that build. Let's continue. We're nearly done now. Dolores, I'm sure, isn't a very universal build. I'm assuming it's like a gear aid one, two, and three Dolores. Yes, there you go. There's the Dolores build. Uh, and then finally, who do we have left? We did Vortex. Baron, no gear. He doesn't need any gear. I might have saved some just to be safe, but he works completely functionally without any gear. And no, I didn't. So we'll even quick unequip him. So now... I've applied all the appropriate gear plans that need to be applied. We took good advantage of the feature. Let's just let one run very quickly. I'll throw it on background fight and you'll see it will work. <laughs> so that's the beauty of the gear plans, right? You saw like some of the sets, the, the, the builds that you make are shared between different heroes. Like gear aid one for Dahlia was the same as gear aid two for Virna, was the same as gear aid three for Silas. This can help you give this can help like give you peace of mind and make things more accessible and easier to transfer from this place to that place to the other place as you really try to min max your account and get get you know squeeze all the juice from the game. If you try to have like this is just Virna's set, right? You've lost all that gear and not you're not able to put it on anyone else. By allowing by taking advantage of the gear plans, you're able to, you know, conveniently without wasting much time, take best use, you know, take advantage of and make the best use of the very best gear sets, the very best gear builds, the designs that you've created for your heroes on your account. One thing I do want to mention, when you save a gear plan, it does not save your artifact. So if ever a run does fail, definitely go check your artifacts. I don't think this will be an example, but you saw I didn't check my artifacts as I went through. Um, 
So if it, if it did though, I would wanna go back and see that. I wish they allowed it to save the artifact. I don't know why that's not counted. It only counts for the gear. If you need, I would say just like get, make an, on the notes app on your computer or your phone, or just get a pen and paper, write down, you know, you could have a gear aid two list and then you just have Virna, Arrow, and then I don't know what she's wearing, a white tower trinket, something like that. Guys, this is gonna be the end of the video. We'll just wait for this run to finish. There you go, boom, it worked like magic. It didn't work before. It's because we took advantage of the gear plans. We applied everything effectively. But basically what I wanna to say to wrap up, this like is a super basic video, right? It absolutely is not for everyone. But the hope is, and if this is you and you made it to the end, let me know in the comments that there's like six people that are like, oh my God, I didn't know this feature existed, or I hear about this feature, but I didn't know how to use it properly. And that this video is the solution to knowing what to do. Because uh, like Gary, for example, I don't think he'd mind me saying he didn't even know this feature existed. And now he's gonna, because I you know, saved all these great plans for him and we conquered a lot of content on his, on his very nice account, he will be able to take great advantage of it and really benefit. And I'm hoping it helps a lot of you guys too. Uh, and yeah. Don't go complaining in the comments that it was a long, slow video about a basic thing because then it wasn't the video for you and you should have clicked off of it at the beginning, like I said. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I've been Fastidious. If you like my stuff, like it, subscribe, give it a big, uh, I guess, like is a thumbs up. But let me know if, if this helped you in the comments. Share with your mother and I'll see you real soon. Bye. Oh, wait. And if there's any other like very basic thing you don't understand or you want me to make a video like this about, tell me. Let me know in the comments or hit me up on my Discord, The Fast and Fastidious. Peace. Fast idiots.